name right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you for this word right now, Jesus. Amen. Right now, Jesus. Amen. We continue to extend a global invitation to all, no matter where you reside, your belief or even no belief. For those that do not know our God, we want to extend the invitation to get to know him. For those who do know him, praise God, let us continue to go deeper in our relationship. Amen. Shalom. We recognize that the pandemic has forced a lot of us to become shut-in saints. Amen. Or maybe you had not found a church home yet. Jehu Spirit of Truth Church Incorporated is waiting for people just like you to find the Messengers of Christ radio, our internet radio, our YouTube videos, the best that God has given me, Double Dose Podcasts, and now Jehu Kingdom Builders Cable Television as your new home. By the grace of God, we broadcast to over 115 countries plus another 50,000 listeners on other platforms. Because of his grace, we have growth potential. Won't Jehovah do it? You can become a part of this living, prophetic, and thriving ministry. We invite you, your congregation, or your business to seize the moment and grow with our family. Explore the messages of encouragement, faith, hope, life, and love that are ministered globally. Also, we remain one with very modest rates in the economically conscious-minded society of today. Therefore, we extend an invitation to seize the moment, connect to a growing nation of believers, Share the words that you receive from God globally or share information about your business, special events, or services. Remember, we always have room for you on our many different airwaves. We can help you spread your wings in our friendly and tranquil worship environment. Contact Apostle Stephanie as Great House by phone at 478-919-919. 3687 or by emailing us at jehu messengers for christ radio at gmail.com praise them saints it is time to meet and praise god we thank you lord for meeting us here each time welcome to our approved anointed appointed prophetic powerful teaching and god-fearing ministry from all over the world Today is the day the Lord has made, and we shall be glad in it. Amen, amen. Let us start our day with expectations, expect new mercies, and blessings to manifest daily. For the remainder of the year, God has marked and designated for restoration from God himself. He made us a promise to restore his people after turning his wrath away. Now scroll down to Joel chapter 2 verses 25 and 26 with us. And it reads, One thing we can count on and is that he is a God of his word. If he spoke it, shall it not come to pass? The remaining year of restoration is ours. Then I will restore you the years that the locust swarm devoured, as did the young locust, the other locust, and the ravaging locust, the great army of mine that I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat and will be fully satisfied. You will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has performed wonders specifically for you. And my people will never be ashamed. And that was the International Standard Version. Restoration, restoration is one of the ways God helps increase our love for him. It will allow us to stand and hold our heads high again, walking like God has commanded us to walk. 
but it should also increase our compassion for our brother and sister. Don't get it twisted. Sometimes we need to treat them with a long handled spoon. But as I was saying, our Yahweh is a God of restoration. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Because our Yahweh is our God of restoration means more than we comprehend sometimes. He restores us to a brand new start. We are taking all our sins and throwing them away. Only people and Satan remember our past, especially when it was something negative. It amazes me that they never remember the positive things that we accomplished. Somebody say it with me, but God, I will repay you the years that the locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my mighty troops, I sent against you and you will eat abundantly and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahweh your God who has dealt with you wondrously. My people will never be ashamed. That was the Lexham English Bible. I'm glad Jehovah gives us new mercies daily. Every time we wake up, it is the great Jehovah's faithfulness that ushers in the newness. Let us start our day with expectations, expect new mercies and blessings to manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that word. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Amen. Now look at someone and say, so glad we are soldiers together fighting on the same side. It is great to know that we have each other's back. We are soldiers that Jehovah considers accountable, dependable, and skilled in our weapons, our warfare. Brothers of Christ, this is the time to stay vigilant and remain focused because our enemy is always present and up to no good. But God... Now let us remain prayerful for others that they may accept Jehovah's Son, Yahshua, as their personal Savior. We shall continue to pray that Satan's plan for our life fails to come to pass daily. Amen. Jehovah is the God above all other gods. He is known as our miracle worker. Jehovah is a way maker for all his creations and a promise keeper. That is who he is to us and he belongs. To a quick announcement. Here, the family of Jehu Spirit of Truth Church Incorporated and all of our outreach ministries, the Messengers of Christ Radio Network LLC, the best that God has given us ministry, and newest outreach ministry, Jehu Kingdom Builders Cable Television, have dedicated themselves to flood the airwaves with the gospel of Christ globally. Only God can do it. We invite you, your family, friends, ministries, and business to join us. Amen. Don't forget to follow, share, subscribe, and start a watch party. Radio and videos premiere on the Messengers of Christ Radio LLC on jehuradio.com, YouTube on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then again on Sundays on Double Dose Podcast. Seize the moment by partnering with any one of these outreach ministries by planting seeds, sending in tithes, and your prayers. Cash app is MOC Radio or Nikita D. Bruton. You can also mail to 2929 Watson Boulevard 2, number 171, Warner Robins, Georgia 31093. 
You can also use any one of the donation buttons on the jhuradio.com website. And phone number is 478-919-3687 and WhatsApp plus one 478-919-3687. You can also email us at jhumessengersforchristradio at gmail.com. Remember, when you plant a seed in this ministry, you are assisting us in taking the word of God globally. You will receive it back before it leaves your hands by the power of Jehovah. We want to thank those who send in their donations, prayer requests, tithes, and testimonies. We hear you and appreciate you for all that you do for Christ. Your labor has not gone unnoticed or been in vain. So again, Thank you. Keep them coming and amen. Now we allow Jehovah to continue to speak to his people through one of his generals, Apostle Stephanie as Great House. Come on in, Lord. Take over. Give your people what we require, and that is more of you. <laughs> amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Bless your name, Father. Amen. Your name, God, because you're worthy of all the praise, God. Thank you, Jesus, for being the God that you say you are to us. Thank you, Minister Nikita, for the introduction of this time that belongs to Jehovah. Glory to God. May the blessings of the Lord remain in your life to the overflow. You have become an excellent armor bearer. Glory to God in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Glory to God. And I'm so proud of you. And I thank God for you. I thank God for you, your efforts, and your growth daily. And I tell you again, your ministry shall be greater than mine. It shall supersede my ministry. The great ministry of yours shall be filled with signs and wonders because you are so, so unique. You are so unique to Yahweh. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is even blessing you to be a better steward over your finances. He's placed in your hands. Remain blessed. Continue to grow. You shall, ha, glory to God, walk out you shall only continue to walk out the prophetic words that came out of God's mouth for your life hallelujah the God spoken word hallelujah double portion double portion be bound to you now in Jesus Christ holy name mm. glory to God glory to God come on in Yahweh we give you total access to us from this day down through eternity. So come on in and make the much needed impartations in our life. See, our God can do the impossible. So don't get tired of waiting on him. Hallelujah. To show up for us. Because he is that covenant keeping God. And there is no other God like him. See, we can begin to remember what he did for us the first day we came to him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, look back just for a moment. What was the sermon or the circumstances that made us realize we've tried everything else, but why not try him? Mm -hmm. see reflection in cases like this it is always good glory to God it is always good see you you accepted somebody's invitation to the more excellent lifestyle see you might not even believe that it was going to be a better lifestyle for you but it was better than what you were already living in see the invite may not have even been at a building could have been right there in the parking lot but nevertheless you accepted that invitation glory to God glory to God now I need you to remember how the weights of life just fell off your shoulders hallelujah glory to God our first love for Jehovah was birthed right then and there and see, you continue to chase after him in his presence daily. 
Oh my, 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 my. What a great day that was. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, glory to God. But wait a minute. That is still the same God today. He never changes. If he could lift the weights off our shoulders way back then, I promise you that Jehovah can complete that task and that journey even today. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, this is what I'm talking about. We serve that covenant God that will never change. But what is even better is he cannot forget his promises to us. Oh, so, somebody catch that. Speaking about the promises of Yahweh, he made some eternal ones. Mm -hmm. But first, I rise in obedience to the word of God as one of his oracles. Mm -hmm. Second, I am making a conscious decision to become a servant of obedience unto the faith and unto righteousness. Oh, glory to God. Somebody going to catch this pony with me. I refuse to serve sin unto death any longer. Third, I make a conscious decision to walk as Jehovah walks. I shall speak as Jehovah speaks. I shall teach like he taught us. I shall stand like Jehovah stands and become that beacon of light for lost souls. Finally, I'm making a conscious decision to grow as Jehovah would have us to grow. Our Jehovah, ooh, our Jehovah who is the head of my life and home, I give all honor to you. Then I bow down. Yes, Lord. I bow down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. To the God that can do all things but fail me. Mm -hmm. Do you know the Jehovah that I speak of? Mm. It's do you know who Jehovah is to us? Mm. I'm speaking about Jehovah Jireh, the one that supplieth all the needs of his people. How many of us know him as Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth us? Oh, that one doesn't ring a bell to you? It, it, it's okay. What about Jehovah Nisi, the banner of the Lord on a battlefield? Recall every battle that you were in. Hallelujah, glory to God, and how that banner of God just waved, hallelujah, just kept on waving until we walked out in victory. Mm. Uh -oh, okay, that one don't do it for you. Hallelujah, glory to God. Do you know who I'm giving reverence to? I'm referring to the Lord of peace. You know, when your back was up against the wall, you could not sleep. There was just straight worry, confusion, trauma, and disbelief. It had consumed your mind 24 hours, 7 days a week. Somebody know I'm speaking about Jehovah Shalom. Hallelujah, glory to God. You know we needed Jehovah Tiskanu, the Lord our righteousness, when the false accusers were on the rise. See, when we first noticed them, hallelujah, it was only by the end of the situation that the false accusers had not only accused us, but had convinced several others to run to shed innocent blood. You better catch that gold nugget. Huh? See, our innocent blood, huh? it was in the earth, huh? like the blood of Cain and Abel. Huh? And the blood cried out huh? from the ground to Jehovah Tiskanu, huh? our God of righteousness. He found us innocent. And as he covered, he had to cover his creation. Oh, catch your gold nugget now. See, he had to become a Jehovah Roy, being the shepherd of all shepherds. He's the shepherd that's full of wisdom, strength, 
and healing made himself known to us. Oh, come on, we can shout right there. You know I'm speaking about that great Jehovah. Hallelujah, glory to God. Then and only then did we recognize, hallelujah, Shema. Jehovah, Shema, he brought tears to our eyes because we could see that he was there all the time. Not only was he there, but he was there for us. Come on, saint, let's shame the devil. Praise him, praise our Jehovah, for he is worthy. Hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God. You know when they had us mocked for death, but Jehovah, Shema was there. So let us put our egos down. Oh, I might have to run with this one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I might have to run with this. Because see, it's about getting our egos down. See, we needed the shepherd of all shepherds to gather us to himself. Hallelujah. And do what was required. Okay. I'll move on. But you know it is correct. Glory to God. And the truth will set us free. Come on and shame the devil. Remind him of how Yahweh defeated him on behalf of us. Mm -hmm. We should find a day. Hallelujah. A praise daily down on the inside. Uh, uh, okay. I will move on. But some people don't like this teaching and its transparency. But God. See, it's getting good right here. Come on and catch. Hallelujah. Come on and let us catch our words of deliverance right here. Finally, somebody sees these gold nuggets as a reason to praise him daily. As I was saying, God is here to meet the needs of his people. To show us his great love and his greatness towards us. Jehovah is supplying the unspoken request. Oh, what a mighty, what a mighty and wise God we serve. I suggest we don't leave his presence without getting our needs provided. Don't leave his company without our much needed deliverance. If we supplied our own needs, the needs still would not exist. Oh, somebody come on and shout right here with me. You're not going to like me, but you will love me for the truth that I speak. Oh, my, my, my. Good morning. This is your wake-up call. See, Good this morning. is a wake-up wake call. Wake call. Mm -hmm. Only our egos tell us we can do it by ourselves. I'm just going to have to let that sink in right there. Come on and say it with me. Sit down, ego, with your fleshly self. I need Yahweh to do the impossible for me right now. All this is going to help us. It's going to cause us to grow. I speak about a God full of agape love. Agape type love is a love that is shared upon us despite us and all of our ugly actions. So yes, Yahweh, come on and fall in love with your creation all over again. Make us the apple of your eye. One more time. Mm. Let me not forget to thank God for my coverings as well. My bishop, father, his wife, spiritual mother, glory to God, pastors and overseers, Apostle Stephen and Prophetess Bernadette, west of Cleveland, Ohio. 
I want you to know that I praise God for my spiritual parents because they introduced me to Jehovah Holy Spirit among other things. I say again, our outreach ministries would not have made it this far if it had not been for the introduction of the Holy Spirit, for their prayers and their love and training. It would always be remembered. They go. How many of us are glad we know, accepted? And allow the Holy Ghost to lead us into righteousness. How many of us will let the Holy Ghost show us things of the past and things to come? We need to accept the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, which was given by Yahweh, the son of Yahshua. I said that backwards. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was given by Yahshua. Hallelujah. Oh. Okay. You can act all deep if you wish. But we as disciples need to accept the divine order and all the gifts of Jehovah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it, saints. I love how God is moving in the earth, bringing his people together as one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything not like God is coming down. Everything not like God is coming down huh? from the pulpit to the front door. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you not connected into God. Uh, hallelujah. I'm sorry for you. You cannot go any higher. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is a season to be connected. Huh? Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, leadership huh? because we refuse to turn back unto Jehovah. My, my, my. Some shall Meet your maker earlier than he planned because of your disobedience. You are crushing, you're crushing the people that God told you to nurture back to health. My Lord, my Lord. The world has crushed them down to powder already. Our job is to speak to the dry bones and call them to live by the power of our tongue. We could do it if we stopped trying to gain control over the people and their possessions. Oh, okay. Let me scoot over because I, I, I can see and feel the darks coming. Oh, glory. But you better see this heavenly host that surround me. We forgot they belong to Jehovah. And he is the one that knows what is best for his people. Not us with our fleshly selves. Our self-serving selves. Huh? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is the dangerous part right here. We're praying folks to do what we want them to do instead of what God's divine plan for their life is. Mm. Lord forbid if they've been called in a deeper dimension of faith than we. Or if they're walking in a gifted area that we are not. How many of us will continue to allow Satan? I'm talking to leaders. How many of us will continue to allow Satan to make us look less than what God called us to be? Glory to God. How many leaders? went to Jehovah and asked 
What was his plans for the people? We got to remember if they are in the body with us, if they're in the church with us, they are there by divine appointment. Whether they are foundational members or whether they are seasonal members or rather they're just being watched over. Way too busy <laughs> trying to build a mega church. Get this, we're trying to build a mega church without knowledge, without plans, without wisdom, or without the healing of God. So we tell ourselves, Brother John has a mega church. God has no respect a person. So I can have one too. But in our process of building a mega church instead of the kingdom of God, we are allowing wolves in sheep clothing to destroy the flock. We are allowing abortions of visions to manifest. Or even what's far worse, we are allowing many counts of first degree murder of ministries. God have mercy on our self-seeking glory souls. I'm a firm believer if we're supposed to be a mega church how many of us know it will manifest with kingdom builders' plans? Mm. Oh, 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 let me get out this fire. Mm. Let me out this fire. But be ye warned. Be ye warned. Glory to God. Glory to God. And see, if I can title this one, do you know who Jehovah is? Let me say it again. If I could title this, it would be, Do You Know Who Jehovah Is? Let, let me get back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our God is the one that is breaking the chains of bondage off his people right now as I minister. Jehovah is that one that is defeating all our enemies. The one that fights against those that fight against us. That one that includes, hallelujah, the ones we don't even know that are our enemies yet. Hallelujah. You know those who are fighting against our holy, joyous, prosperous marriages. Uh huh. Those enemies that are fighting against our ministry and its destiny because they cannot control them. That poverty spirit huh, that still keep fighting against our zillionaire status because we tithe and plant seed for kingdom growth. Glory to God. I'm talking about that one that is fighting, huh? hallelujah, against the godly pathways of our children. See, because they recognize that our seed and our seed seed is blessed. Oh, come on, Jehovah, huh? and fight for us down through eternity. Teach us to do war and our fingers to do battle. Huh? Teach us what you know, Jehovah. Huh? Plus, we would apply it to our lives. In addition, we would use it to bless others. Teach us, Almighty God. Uh, teach us. Come on quickly, Minister Nikita. Come on quickly. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Thank you for that word thus far, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen, amen, amen. David prayed to God for protection against his enemies. If it worked for him, it will work for us. Psalms 144 verses 1 through 2 reads, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for warfare. He is my gracious love and my fortress, my strong tower and my deliverer, my shield and the one in whom I find refuge. Amen. Who subdues people's under me 
and that is the International Standard Version. A prayer that reminds us that God will teach us how to defeat our enemies, plus he will shelter us while we get prepared for battle. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. King James Version. This is what I love about our God. It is he that gets all the glory. He will subdue any enemy of ours and place them beneath our feet like Satan. <laughs> Man, blessed be God, my mountain, who trains me to fight fair and well. He's the bedrock on which I stand, the castle in which I live, my my rescuing night, the high crag where I run for dear life while he lays my enemies low. The Message Bible. Amen. Now back into the capable hands of a general of God's Apostle Stephanie as Great House. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for that word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you for breaking those scriptures down for us because it is God that teaches us to do battle. And I, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The great thing about this is it is not just today, but before the foundation of the world. Because Jehovah, we shall never be beaten, but strengthened daily. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Strengthen to walk victorious daily. I'm talking about a God that should not be absent from anyone's life. Uh, somebody say amen with me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you know who Jehovah is? Mm -hmm. Come on, Minister Nikita. Come quickly. Share the wisdom of God with us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for that word. Amen, Jesus. Praise him right now. Brides of Christ, we know the story. Jesus and his disciples had traveled by water and were headed towards the shore. So many people were there with the expectation of his teachings that were being offered. Yahweh must have picked something up in the spirit, as we like to say, because he forewarned the disciples. Jesus was speaking with the disciple about yeast. They mistook him to be talking about the bread they had left behind, but he was speaking about the yeast or the erroneous teachings of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Because of the arguments between them, Yahshua was led to ask what others thought of him. Perhaps he wanted to know who the Pharisees and Sadducees were teaching the people about his identity. Then Yahshua asked Peter to do, do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? Let us explore the scriptures, Matthew 16, verse 13 through 20. When Jesus had come to the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He asked them, but who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Then Jesus told him, how blessed you are, Simon, son of Jonah, since flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, though my father in heaven has. I tell you that you are Peter, and it is on this rock that I will build my congregation, and the powers of hell will not conquer it. 
I will give you the keys to the kingdom from heaven. Whatever you pro whatever you prohibit on earth will have been prohibited in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth will have been permitted in heaven. Then he strictly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. International Standard Version. What a mighty knowledgeable and teaching Yahshua we serve. Let's explore another translation. When Jesus reached the Caesarea Philippi district, he asked his disciples a question. Who do you who do the people say the Son of Man is? Well, some say John the Baptist, they told him. Some say Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you, he said to them. Who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you. You are Christ, the Son of the living God. Simon, son of Jonah, you are a fortunate man indeed, said Jesus, for it was not your own nature, but my heavenly Father who has revealed this truth to you. So now I tell you that you are Peter, the rock, and it is on this rock that I am going to establish my church and the powers of death will never prevail against it. J.B. Phillips, New Testament. Our scripture reading would not be complete without the traditional and most taught translation. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, some, Say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But who say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon. Barhona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I also say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. King James Version. Who do you say Yahweh is? Now back into the capable hands of a general of God's, Apostle Stephanie, as great house amen 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 thank you for that word amen. thank you lord jesus thank you for your holy word god thank you minister nikita for sharing those texts with us glory to god do you know who jehovah is to us that's the important question see i gotta know who jehovah is to you see he is salvation and the messiah to us all but he is the Jehovah who saved those we consider a waste of time introducing him to God. Oh, somebody going to catch it right there. To some, he is the doctor in the sick room. You know, when you are suffering from liver or kidney malfunctions, you might know him, hallelujah, to be a cancer healer. Or some may know him to be a healer when the doctors have given up all. Mm -hmm. Some might even know him to be a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, when the sheriff showed up to evict you out of your home. Mm -hmm. Comes the sheriff. 
that hands you a receipt where your rent has been paid up for a year. Does anybody know what God I'm talking about? Do you know Jehovah and his goodness and his unmerited favor and his grace is better than money? You know the supply of the needs of his people. That one, when you thought you didn't have any money and the cupboard was bare, the chilling, they were all at school. But you knew when they got home, they were going to need some nourishment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do you know that God that spoke, that spoke in a small voice and said, remember the purse I told you to keep and put it in the back of the closet. Go look. Because I'm Jehovah Jireh, I have supplied all your need before the need arrived. Hallelujah. After you get over the shock of his words, you get to the old purse and you find a Benjamin stuffed down in there. Don't know when, don't even know how, but Jehovah Jehovah Jireh is his name to you. Mm -hmm. And no one can make you doubt him because you've learned too much about him. He is that God when your children have gotten in trouble with the law and they are afraid. And instead of stopping and surrendering, they take off running. And all you can say is, God, don't let them kill my child. You keep crying out to a God, even though the other law officers, hallelujah telling you to stop praying and to shut up but all you can do is get louder until they bring your child back in handcuffs before your face but your child is alive that Jehovah Shema is his name to you that one that was there hallelujah glory to God oh come on here somebody catch the gold nugget of Catch that gold nugget right here. Glory to God. Uh, keep on crying out until Jehovah Tiskanu uh, releases our children from the custody of the law. Uh, the city, county, state, and federal governments uh, created a new form of slavery. Hallelujah. Where they benefit off the off the backs of the people through a plan called incarceration. Mm-hmm. Some were sold into the system even when they were innocent of the charges. But you being a child of God and you knew Jehovah Tinskanu and you refused to be quiet and Tinskanu showed up with a DNA test that proved their innocence. So your child gets released from prison. But he got released with salvation and a lawsuit that was ordered to compensate him for the wrongful imprisonment. Do you know the Jehovah that I'm talking about? Do you know the Jehovah who he is to us? Come on and shout, shout until something happens. Until Yahweh, hallelujah, that your need grows. Keep shouting to him until that need shows up. It's supplied by him. But remember, he's coming in abundance and no one can can take credit for what he's doing. So trust our Jehovah to be to be on time and to be correct with what is needed in this hour. Do you know who Jehovah is? Who is he to you? I say again, who is Jehovah to us during these last and evil days? Oh, glory to God, glory to God. We take authority over everything that Satan has tried to do to the people of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. We bind godly wisdom to the 
the people of God. We bind godly knowledge to the people of God. We bind godly favor, unmerited grace, huh? to the people of God. Huh? We bind unlimited resources and unlimited finances. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bind unlimited networking with those with the same mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God to the people of God. And we loose jealousy spirit from the people of God. We loose the lying demons from the people of God. We loose the homosexual demons from the people of God. We loose those. They go. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is not supposed to be in our circle. Hallelujah. We release poverty from the people. I go. We release unemployment from the people of God. They go. I'm talking about do you know how shaded Do you know who our Jehovah is to us? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that word, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for those life changing and prophetic words to grow by. Let each of us remain encouraged, focused, healthy, and vigilant in Jesus Christ as we continue to represent the Lord. Remember, it is not too late to turn around and give your life to Christ. If you do not know Jesus as your Savior, you can. Know this first and foremost. God loves you, and you are his precious creation. No if and buts about it. Amen. The brides of Christ don't care what harmful or wrong decisions you make in your life. We continue to extend the hand of Jesus to you. Today is a new day and another chance to start brand new. This year is a great time. God wants to help you start afresh and new. Only God can do just that. But it takes us to acknowledge our sins and then give them to God. Here begins the pathway where the past can remain in your past. Then we move forward with him and the newness of his life and his divine plans for our lives. Our new life journey begins with Romans chapter 10, 9 through 13. This scripture reminds us that accepting Jehovah in our life is easy. It only takes a sincere confession from our hearts. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes resulting in righteousness and with the mouth he confesses resulting in salvation for the scripture says whoever believes in him will not be disappointed for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek for the same Lord is Lord of all abounding in riches for all who call on him, for whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 13, New American Standard Update. Repeat this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I come to you and ask you in Jesus' name to set me free from any wrong thoughts, Fear, doubt, unbelief, believing any lies of the enemy, the devil, or demonic influence and spirits. Deliver me from any ideas that I have that are hindering me now in coming to you. I ask you, Father God, to deliver me directly of all hindrances to becoming your born again kingdom child in Jesus Christ's holy name. I resist the devil and all his demonic spirits must flee and leave my presence. Lord God, remove the lies and the hindrances out of my life. I ask you to force out 
drive out and lose all evil intentions and things far away from me in Jesus name. Amen. God binds your blessings, strength, peace, love, knowledge, and wisdom to me. And it is so. That is why you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of God's household, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, the Messiah Jesus himself being the cornerstone, Ephesians 2, 19 through 20, International Standard Version. Welcome to the kingdom of God's family. The angels and saints are rejoicing for you have returned to our Father. And it is so. Now connect yourself to us or another Bible teaching ministry and get to know your Father's ways. Great. Backsliders, you know that it is okay to return to God. He is married to you and he eagerly awaits your return. Repent for turning back to the world. He is receiving you back right now. Repeat after me. I am sorry for all my revisited and new sins that I committed against you. I want you to know I repent of them all. Therefore, I return my life to you today I confess my faith in your son, Jesus Christ, that he is Lord. I believe that Jesus died and resurrected to give me eternal life. I confess my trust in him. I accept him as my personal Lord and Savior. Now, here are some ways to help you find your way back to him. Talk to him just as with any other person in your life communication is essential to strengthening your relationship with god obey god's commandments study the scriptures listen for jehovah's voice show gratitude daily remain mindful of our actions i say again with the saints and members of God's household, having been built in on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, the Messiah, Jesus himself being the cornerstone. Ephesians 2, 19 through 20, International Standard Version. Begin to praise Jehovah for accepting you back. All glory and praises belong to you, Jehovah. Start walking in your newness of life right now. Maybe there is someone that is sick or may be sick. God says he sent his word and healed them from their destructions. Psalms 107 and 20, King James Version. Now place your hand on whatever part of your body needs a touch. Then remain close to your device and embrace the healing warmth of God. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the listeners of the Messengers of Christ Radio, of the best that God has given me ministry. We ask that you allow them to continue to receive the word and let them absorb it in their spirit. In Jesus' name, Lord, we ask that you heal their bodies, bind up any and everything that the enemy may have against us. We ask that you forgive us for anything we said or did that was not pleasing unto you. And we ask that you heal our bodies, Lord. Let everything line up according to the word of God, Lord. Let the organs work accordingly. Let the nerve system work, Lord. Remove any and all sicknesses, illnesses, and diseases that may be in our body, Lord. We bind up pneumonia. We bind up colds. We bind up COVID-19 and any other viruses lord we ask that you remove it right now in the name of jesus and heal our bodies and continue to bless us in jesus name we pray amen and it is so now here is the part where everyone can participate in stay in the spirit of giving perhaps jesus leads you to partner with us monthly for as little as thirty dollars which is only a dollar a day or Perhaps he is leading you to plant a one-time seed of $30. You will receive the same blessing of Jehovah if you give one time or monthly. 
It may be a different amount Jesus has placed on your heart. So obey Yahweh and give as he has blessed you to share. Remember, the complete offerings and tithes go towards the equipment, internet services, and outreach programs. Will you help us continue to be a blessing to you and others globally? We appreciate any help you can provide. God bless you. Go to one of the different ways to make your tax-free donations and give your love offerings, plant your seeds, or pay your tithes. Go to our websites, jehuradio.com and any one of the donation tabs or donorbox.org slash the messengers of Christ radio or donor donorbox.org slash the best that God has given me ministry. Cash app is MOC radio or Nikita D. Bruton. You can mail to 2929 Watson Boulevard 2, 171 Warner Robins, Georgia 31093. And may God return it to you 100 fold before it leaves your hands. And it is so. Prophetically speaking, we know we help someone break free from the control, deceptions, lies, and trickery of Satan. We declare and decree that this word will continue to resonate in your emotions, finances, minds, motivations, and spirits down through eternity. Grace and peace multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now share these weekly messages with others wherever you go. And remember, always use the best that God has given unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Amen. Bless you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.